Good evening, I'm David Rose. And I'm Maria Arcega Dunn. A Tacoma boy's mother says the Secret Service grabbed him out of class last Friday for what he posted on his Facebook page. She was so outraged it happened without her knowledge or permission she contacted us. Dana Revick has more on this exclusive story. Very, very shocked. It's the kind of call no mother wants to get. My phone rings, I look at it, and it was the number to his school, and I answer it, and it's the school security guard just giving me a FYI, you know, for your information, just to give you a heads up, the Secret Service is here with the Tacoma Police Department, and they have Vito, and they're talking to him. It turns out after Osama bin Laden was killed, Vito LaPinta posted an update to his Facebook status that got the Fed's attention. I was saying how Osama is dead and for Obama to be careful because there might be suicide bombers. A week later, while Vito was in his fourth period class, he got called to the principal's office. A man walked in in a suit and glasses. And he said that he was part of the Secret Service. And he told me it was because of a post that I made and it indicated as a threat towards the president. Tacoma schools did acknowledge that a Secret Service agent questioned Vito, but after that, the story becomes very different. They say a security guard called Vito's mom because the principal was on the other line and that they didn't wait for her to arrive because they felt that she didn't take the phone call seriously. That's a blatant lie. Timmy Robertson says she rushed to Truman Middle School immediately and arrived to discover her boy had already been questioned for half an hour. I would just about lost it. You know, my son, my 13-year-old son, who is a minor, who's supposed to be safe and secure in his classroom at school, is being interrogated without my knowledge or consent privately by the Secret Service. I was very scared. The seventh grader says once his mom showed up, the agent finished the interview and told him he wasn't in any trouble. Now he's more careful about what he posts online. But Timmy says the school and the Secret Service are the ones who need to watch themselves. For me, it's not about what my son did or didn't do. It's the way they handled it because he's still a child. In Tacoma, Dana Rebic, Q13, Fox News. We also reached out to the Secret Service agent for comment today, but we have not heard back yet.